we're going to do my morning routine. So at night, what I'll do is I will wash my hair, put a little bit of oil on it, and Moroccan oil or uh, a different type of oil that I've used. Sorry, my voice is a little weird. Usually in the morning, it acts up like this, but uh, since my concussion. But the what I'll do is I'll braid my hair, put it up, and then secure it with a headgear, this, so that it doesn't get too fuzzy and it kind of helps it to stay uh, not as fuzzy as curly and like African curly, my natural hair. So I, again, try to let it dry as natural as possible. My hair type of hair does retain a lot of moisture, so it will be a tiny bit damp, which is good. I'll set my straightening iron to uh, medium high, not high, because high is too hot and it will damage my hair. So when I did put my oil on, I did concentrate on putting more at the bottom, or I mean at the tips. And then the natural oils through the next day or two will, as I comb it and prep it, will um, go through the hair. So I will just put a tiny bit more of my oil. It's Moroccan oil mix. It's a, a combination of argan oil and Moroccan oil that I've mixed together. So I just use it sparingly. I personally do not put oil directly on my scalp. I don't like the feeling of it being too oily. So I'll just go ahead and put some on there like so. And also once a month, I do put, uh, I, I trim my hair when I'm doing my hair, I'll trim it just like four millimeters just to uh, give the hair a nice freshness. So what I'll do is oh, comb it through. And I start combing from the tips to the root. I don't start at the root because that will pull my hair out. And the oil that I put in, it will make its way through to the rest of the area that I did not cover. So I'll just start at the back. And I usually have what is that? a little clip. I'll just secure the hair gently. Try not to manipulate the hair too, too much. So I'll section it. And then I'll let the machine do the work, the iron, not pulling on it too hard, but going slow enough that it has time to do its work. Like so. And then just do uh, sections of they're about two to three inches at a time sections. Being careful not to burn your hair, your ear, don't burn your ears. Like, don't try and get the ear and stuff in there. And then I do try and get as close to the scalp out as I can. Just like that. Again, not pulling it. Being careful not to pull it, but gently going down the strand and allowing the 
the machine to do its work. Just like that. And then I'm just going to give that a break after doing the whole thing. do a whole root together. So again, trying to get as close to the root as possible without burning my scalp. Okay, let's see. It's nice and straight. I'm going to put an elastic to separate it. Whew, it does get hot. I did make myself fresh ground coffee, coffee beans, and I mix a little bit of spices and mushrooms in. So I'll just gradually make my way down the hair. So I'm doing about that much in between and then by that much space. I'm going to try and gently pull the hair as straight as it will go before going through with the iron so that it has a better chance to get trained. And if you can see on the camera any steam coming out, that is the moisture of residual uh, wetness. So there you have it. For that side, or from this side, quite a difference in length with my type of hair. Let me straighten it. I take a second to let it cool a tiny bit because the hair is very hot after being touched with the iron. Ah. See? It's nice and straight. And it is. It's a tiny bit of a lengthy process, but well worth taking your time to do. like that. And because my hair seems to pull out quite easily, again another reason why I want to take my time and do the sections gently. I'll keep them separated. So 
So I'll just, I'll feel it. <clears throat> I can feel from here. This is the straight stuff. This is the curly stuff. I'll just use my fingers and then I'll feel on my head. Oh, it has to go there for that part. So I'll just section it and make sure to try and get it fairly consistent. Down. Ooh, that part was a little thicker, but that's okay. If you have little clips, it's better to use the clips instead of the elastic because I find the elastic can break the hair. Do it again, just take your time. Go side. The other side, starting with the tip, making your way up the root, and any oil that's on the brush with hair that's stuck in there will spread itself and distribute itself. Again, going as close to the scalp without touching it, and going down slowly without pulling, but making sure to hold this firm enough. Now I personally like to go a maximum of twice, but Oops. More than that, I find it can do damage, so I don't I don't go on it too much. So Up. And then the part that's been done. I sometimes will go over just because it might have gotten missed how I sectioned it. Because it's easier to do 
kind of right away, not later when the hair is all done. Just like so. And then just keep separating it from there and proceeding. Stuck in the bit. It's hard work. Tiring doing it yourself. Like so you can see how the hair is nicely coated. This time I'll go from this section. Separating it in equal sections the best that I can. I had a thing, but it broke, so so in this part, make sure to try and get the hair as close to the root as possible. There you have it. That's the way I straighten my hair. I don't get the luxury of going to the hair salon. So as you can see, even when I color it, not everything is getting colored properly. And it's these days the way I do my hair. So I just put this together, separate it. Ow, it's hot. From that that I've done. And continue the process. So there's the line right there.
Whew. As you can see from my shirt, it's quite the process. Here I'll section it away that I'm trying not to hurt my ear. I'll catch my ear in there. So, and then I usually will go a tiny bit slower at the roots, only because that is the area that is most kinky. Like so. Where'd my last go? So as you can see from the time that we've spent on this, ah, it is quite the lengthy process. So I'll just continue like that. So it's already half an hour. So it's going to take me a good hour and 20 minutes to finish my hair. So I'll just fast forward this. When I'm almost done, I will go back and do the front and areas that are in need. Things like this, as you can see, is quite curly. I again will go through it very gently and gingerly. Uh, try not to pull. So I'll just pause it for a second and I'll see you in a bit. So as you can see, the difference between what is straightened from what is not whew, is a long process. But again, this will last me, as long as I don't get it wet, this will last me around four days. So again, I want to comb it and get the oil spread and then have it as tight as possible taut slowly down slowly. trying not to really pull it but still letting the iron do its job And I keep going over, back, and over again to get the now melted oil that I just heated and let that distribute through the strands. Just like that. I think I'll do a last run of all the hair together. Hot. I'm 
then continue from there. Separating out. So my hair is naturally wavy like that. Separate it. As I had the hair going that way the first time around I am going to go along with the way the hair is falling but now that I softened it and straightened it I can pull it the way I want going down Side or oh, heart in the neck. And when you hear that crap, that noise, that's hair getting split or broken. So you do not want to have that. You just guide it. And I comb it out, again, trying to encourage the hair strands to be as straight as possible. Like that. Nice and straight. This 40 minutes in is why I don't straighten my hair often because it's just too much for me to do. Like that. When I feel the roots, if I feel the roots that there's a spot that doesn't seem to be done well enough, I will go through and do that area right away. Concentrating the heat closer to the scalp without burning myself. Concentrating it closer to the roots. That's how I do my hair. So just pause it for a minute. I'll be right back. So because of the way I do style my hair, I will add just a tiny bit more oil in this spot because I can feel right in the middle of where I did my hair. There doesn't seem to be enough. I'm just going to put a tad because a little bit goes a long way because the machine will melt it. So I just go gently near the roots without really touching the scalp. Just 
just like that. Some spots are kind of crooked, and that's again why I'm very fast. I use the brush want them to go straighten now so that I don't crimp it again all creased and crooked. Like I said, I'll comb the oil through so that it distributes. I got a headache now since my concussion. So now that it's fairly straightened, I can put it to the direction I want it to go, which is nail on this way. Just like that. difference between ow hot that's different between that side and this side the natural hair oh. so thank you for whoever invented invented the flat iron because using an actual iron and sticking my head in an ironing board or on not in would have been terrible so I'll just Continue like this, again, trying to get the hair as close to the scalp. Going slowly so that the uh, heat has time to straighten it. Just like that. This direction. And there you go. See you in a sec. We'll keep going. Now I can feel that this part of my hair is quite dry, so in the next section I'll put a tiny bit of oil right here so that it will eventually make its way all the way uh, through the hair strands and coat them all. But again, not putting it directly on my scalp because my natural oils will uh, later on as I do my hair within a day or two, it will um, all distribute itself. But, but because I am mixed ethnic with English, Irish, Spanish, and Beijing from Barbados, I have very, very fine hairs. So because of those very fine hairs, uh, again, I can't put too much oil, otherwise it just looks way too greasy. But I need to put some because otherwise it doesn't straighten properly. I'm just going to go slowly down the strands just like that. Oh, that's why it's not working. It's turned off. Uh, 
Oopsie. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need to let this heat up again. It turned off while I had it on pause. I was making myself warming my coffee. So let me let it warm up and I'll be right back. All right. It doesn't take too long for that to warm up. I'm wondering why it wasn't straightening. So again, some of the oil on the brush of hairs that got stuck in there. So I'll just let that oil cover the hair. Gently go from the ridge. And go down slowly and evenly with a nice pressure. Oh, my hair's falling out. I'm breaking in this area, so I have to be careful. Oh, oh I got it, got it, got it. And then because this iron is that hot, I can use it to gently kind of get it to go where I want. And while it's still hot, I kind of just make it go to the way that I want it to, like I said, I want it to go down. So I have to go in that direction. So again, I'll just do the same thing. Sectioning the hair only so much space. Between so that I have it uh, have it uh, have enough area to section uh, area to uh, straighten because if you take too much at a time it won't be able to do its job. So that. And then while it's still hot, coaching in the rest of it. And then the front here is kind of broken because I end up I tend to tend to do the front more, so it is broken that way. So again, I have to be quite be careful, be careful not to break it too much. And I feel that it is quite dry in that spot. So again, to avoid it breaking further, I will put a tiny bit. A little dabble, do ya? It's just uh, the root area, but not the actual scalp. Out. I'll do this then and I will continue.
you can see they're not all straight so I have to brush out so that when I go over it again it will have a better chance of being straight right to the tip been slightly over an hour and five minutes and that's the progress it's lengthy progress but let's continue Now you see why I don't do my hair often. It's very draining, especially since my concussion. I just don't have the energy and I feel unwell. Once I'm almost done, I actually feel sick and tired. So, you can see now why you'll often see my hair kind of matty and raggedy. And plus, the other thing is that I find that it breaks my hair too much. God knows it does not grow quick enough for it to be doing something like that. Little 
twist at the end. Oh, almost done. Whew. And then something like this. Take that corner. And get it so that the roots get done. But again, being careful not to uh, catch my ear. And then, like I said, I did a little twist at the end. That kind of helps style it, give a little styling. Last piece. Root. And there you go. We'll go back through, take a couple of spots, and do what I just did, just so that it has a little curl. Go a little bit slower towards the end. Yeah, making sure not to take too too much so that the iron has time to do its job. Et voila! That is how I style my hair. Just like that. My neck, it's killing me. And there you have it, Rinda in the raw hair styling tips on how to do straighten my type of hair. That's how I do my hair. If you like the way I do my hair, if you don't like too much curl, just go back over it with the iron. That that'll be some curl. Voila. Voilà. Click like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for any upcoming videos of me. Sometimes being silly, other times being informative, other times trying new things and or having a nice month day or showing you the process how to do my type of hair. See you in the next video.